uh, focus on your technique, which goes against everything that Brett Sutton says. But it's, it's so many people who want to get faster at swimming just plow up and down trying to do miles and they neglect their technique but honestly if you can make yourself more efficient because swimming is so much about your technique more than more so than the other two sports i'd say so if you can iron out your technique improve your catch which you hear people talk about all the time that will make masses of difference there's so many <laughs> um I have, to be honest, been terrible with my nutrition in the past um, and actually kind of done the opposite of what most people do. And actually I've over fueled and taken too many carbohydrates on in sort of like a panic that I need to have as much as I possibly can. So actually just this understanding and knowledge of nutrition, full stop. I, had, I never really did the research or read up about it. Um, and um, I didn't really know about the whole 60 to 90 grams of carbs per hour and electrolytes and all this sort of stuff. So um, I definitely missed a trick for a number of years um, in which I was, I basically was making my myself almost sick during races and not absorbing the fuel um, because I was trying to take too much on. So yeah, that'd be my biggest tip. Do your research and understand nutrition because it has such an impact on your performance. You know what I've been really impressed by lately? I wouldn't say I've used it loads, but I feel like if I was an avid athlete still, which I'll be honest, I'm not really at the moment, um, is uh, the form goggles, um, which you may have come across with the like, display inside. Um, because I think if you're training on your own, it's just that, I don't know, just that extra motivation. And now they've got this open water functionality. I'm not paid by form, just, just by out there. And I just, yeah. I just think that's fantastic. I think it's so good that you'd be able to get in the open water now and almost replicate sessions that you would have ordinarily done in the swimming pool in the open water and know the exact pace you're going at. This is, a, this is an awkward one because I actually ordinarily would say outside on the road, but I've been really enjoying the Zwift racing. Um, so uh, I'm still going to say outside on the road because that's why I got into the sport in the first place. It was just like, I come from swimming, following a black line up and down the pool. And then when I got on a bike and being able to say, I want to go to the top of that hill and see the sights and see what it's all about. I just love that. Um, so yeah, it, it outside on the road. <laughs> Uh, I back myself, Andy. I back myself. Yeah. No, um, they'd actually, um, I mean, they're all really good. Um, Fraser, Heather, but also um, like a couple of the GCN guys, like James Losey Williams um, from GCN. He was really keen into swimming. Um, Connor Dunn, I don't know if you know, he's a very tall guy in GCN. He's, uh, he's, he's quite a keen swimmer. I don't know what his running's like. Um, um, I wouldn't back Cy Richardson. I've just beaten him in a bike race and I know he definitely can't run or swim, so <laughs> that's all right. Um, but no, um, I, I, mean, I, 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 t I turn like another, turn another gear on when it comes to racing. So I'd hope that I take it. <laughs>